run the park 5k at Stackhouse Park up in the Johnstown area this morning finished first overall in like 2240 2250 range I think somewhere in that area I didn't look at the official time not a big deal to me it's a pretty fun race I like Stackhouse Park I run it a uh, we park itself a few times a year at least there's like eight miles or so within the park that you can run some very good technical trails also some good walking trails as well today it was a good mix started out more technical and then progressively got I guess easier as we went on because we didn't hit the gravel portion until uh, the end but it had about 450 feet of gain, 450 feet of descent. So, what is that? Uh, 900 feet, so probably like 250, 270 off the top of my head per mile change. So pretty good for a 5K. <coughs> pretty decent crowd this morning. Uh, started down by the, uh, whatever, the little building the ranger station I guess is what they call it then we started just a quick maybe like 10-15 feet incline before we made a very quick like basically like a 160 170 angled turn down onto some single track which was actually some really hard single track to start my mind wasn't really focused yet on trail running like I wasn't like zoned in and I'm flying down this and I was like oh shit it better slow down because I'm gonna trip because there was some pretty good rocks and some pretty good like trippy roots in that quick little first section plus it was slick I will say right away before I forget to mention it the whole race I was wearing my uh, Paraguay 12s and I was slipping the whole race on rocks and roots. The trail itself was pretty compact today. So like any little rock or root that was sticking up, like I was just like slipping right off. There was really no give. Not that it's a big deal, it just, my shoe choice today was probably a little bit more aggressive than I actually needed. Really could have got away with more of a, a road trainer or my training uh, trail shoes probably would have been a better choice instead of my more aggressive faster uh, peregrines but and whatever sometimes that trail gets a little wet and a little soft plus I wanted more speed they did all right except for like the more technical sections that I was uh, tripping and slipping on rocks and roots but whatever <coughs> But that first shoot that we go down, it's technical. Um, at the bottom of the hill, there's some guy's dog, like, standing right in the middle of the trail, just, like, looking at me. I'm like, move, buddy. I had to, like, go actually go around the dog because the dog was just sideways facing on the trail. And I know we told this guy we were going to start in a couple minutes, but he wasn't paying attention. So there's that. It did aggravate me real quickly, but I got over it. Um, then we crossed the one little bridge down at the big pavilion at the bottom. <coughs> Can't really remember. I, well, I don't know the names of the trails that we ran on, but um, then we hit the flat section that has some rolling hills <coughs> where, like, the bunny hop and turkey trot um, finish up. That's the way we we're like starting, but in the opposite direction <coughs> of the pavilion where we usually started. So, yeah, it was definitely different, a little bit harder because you're going like uphill. Then we hit this like log steps, which was very slick today because they were wet from the rain yesterday. Um, and I actually walked them instead of trying to slip off it. Um, my legs did burn a little bit at that first little uphill but I was trying to stay fast and run as fast as I could today 
I actually think mile one was right about in that first uh, uphill technical section, if memory serves me right. And I think that was, well, my watch beat to like 636 for that first mile. So that was pretty good. But again, uh, a lot of it was downhill. So it saves a lot of um, time and effort right away. It let me warm up a little bit as well for what was in store. And then, yeah, we went up hill for probably, what, three tenths, four tenths before dropping down to like the Browns, not the Brownstown, the uh, lower Yoder side of the park and then we cut across the gravel road and then up the hill which it, then it sucked like switch that muscle switch just sucked real quick because it was a nice steep uphill um, I didn't gear up right away or properly so it was a little bit harder than it should have been <coughs> did walk a little bit on the one steep section like where it really got steep because there was nobody behind me and I was like you're way ahead of where you wanted to be like time wise so don't burn yourself out for what's in store because I didn't know the course so I didn't really know what to expect um, afterwards I knew at some point we should have hit some gravel road but I didn't know how much exactly because again we were running like the most of it like reverse from what I'm used to running so my mind wasn't in the right uh, state like logistic wise I guess um, but whatever plus it was a couple of different trails that I normally don't take like to stay on like more of a single track then we popped out at like Brownstown like on the one steep part and up I know at that point I was like looking for some flagging for a while because I was like, man, I haven't seen any, but I was like, there was nowhere to turn and we keep going up and it was getting a little bit um, thicker slash brushier and it closed a little bit. And I'm like, oh shit, I hope I didn't go the wrong way. And then I propped out of uh, Brownstown and there was actually like a water station there. I was like, whoo, glad I'm going the right way. Um, and then we just like popped back down in the other side of that little like Brownstown um, opening where they have like a picnic table or two up there an American flag um, that was I think it was around two miles at the top of that and then it was like a lot more gravel for that last mile which was a relief even though it was some uphill downhill um, parts to it I just was able to gear back up because that second mile was nine miles or nine minutes well I mean it was harder and it was a lot more like uphill so that's why I dropped from like at 6.36 to like a nine minute that second mile because it, it was just the harder part of the course. And then that third mile I think was a seven. I think that's what I finished in. Look. Yeah, so a 7.01. So that's not bad. Um, but again, that was more gravel so I was able to turn it back up some even though it was a little bit of an incline for I would say like seven tenths of it and only three tenths of it were like a downhill but my legs were feeling it a little bit from that uphill section in mile two and then let's see probably like two six to, no, like we'll say all right we'll call it two five to like two seven there was a quick little downhill for a couple of tents. And then the last three-ish, or 0.4 tents were uphill on the gravel road. And it's steep. It's probably 150 to 200 feet, I think, to finish out the race. I don't know, I would say it's at least 100. I would definitely say 150, I don't know. I'd have to look at it on uh, GPS could be wrong it might only be like 50 or 80 but whatever it's you definitely feel it in your legs with the angle of it there's a uh, last couple tents and 
I didn't really eat much. I just ate a new go bar this morning. So my stomach got empty. And then with that, um, well, because I went downhill, so I was breathing heavy. And then that quick back up, like the steepness, threw my breathing off a little bit. And I started like choking and like trying to like puke up stuff. So I actually had to stop for probably 10, maybe 15 seconds while I was like choking, sort of like semi puking. Um, I haven't done that forever. It's just because my stomach was empty and the uh, breathing was off. Um, so it made me do that a little bit. So I did lose some time there. But really not a big deal to me. It happens. And then I just finished up at the finish line, jogging it in. I knew I was under like the 25 minute mark, which was sort of the goal for the day, um, because the race director sort of threw that out there to anybody as a, a goal or, I don't know, not really a goal, but a challenge, I guess the word would be a challenge. Who could beat 25 minutes? Does anybody come, gonna come and beat 25 minutes on the course today? And. When I showed up, everybody's like, oh, you're going to do it? You're going to do it? I'm like, oh, I really don't want to because I biked 15 miles last night. I think I finished up around 10 o'clock at night because I started late. So my legs necessarily weren't fresh, but whatever. Um, I got it done somehow. I think it was, it was basically because of that first mile. I just bolted out the gate and it was downhill so I was able to save so much time in that first mile. Otherwise, I might not have hit the 25 minute mark. Even though I still had two and a half, uh, I guess, time bank. So I mean, I could have did eights, like eight twenties the whole time and uh, hit the mark, save myself some energy. But I guess that was sort of my goal for the day was to see if I can do it. I wasn't too excited to try it, but at the same time, that challenge was thrown out there this morning. Like, I knew it was thrown out there the other day as a challenge to people, but before this morning, it wasn't really a goal of mine. Mine was just to try to win, but then everybody's like, oh, you're going to do it. You're going to try it for it. You think you can do it? I'm like, ah, damn people egging me on or like sort of challenging me to actually try for it so that's why I did try for it and push a little bit harder than I was gonna run but I'm thankful that that I did and was able to do it so it was fun to say I did it he said he was gonna name the course after me if I did it so I guess that's part of it but other than that, I had fun. I was completely saturated by the time I was done today. I mean, drenched. Um, and I just know, like, the sweat was dripping down my butt crack. And even so, <clears throat> like, I could feel the, uh, like, my compression shorts just being saturated um, and whatnot so it was, it was definitely a good hard course hard workout um I'm trying to think what else to say real quick recap's gonna take longer than it did the race but um i did take a bunch of clips today of people finishing took some pictures it'll probably take me a day to get them up i did video the finish line I think I got most people. The battery might have cut out the last couple, but whatever. Um, I don't know. I guess I, I mean I did have fun today. It was a nice challenge. Um, even though I ran in like 22 minutes, it seemed like I was only running for like 10. Just the way the course was set up today and like the technical and stuff. Just time this time just seemed to fly by this morning. Um, luckily I didn't trip, 
for the first half of the course, I did think I was going to trip a bunch because just the way like my shoe was hitting like the rocks and roots. I was like, man, you're just going to fall and get hurt and be a dumb ass. But somehow I didn't. Um, but whatever. I have to check it out for next year and run it. Might I should have give should have videoed it afterwards with my GoPro, but kind of had to poop the whole race too. So I was holding it in. That probably did slow me down a little bit. I didn't go yet. But I'm not gonna crap myself. So there's that.